The developers here at IBM were very impressed by Johnny Chung Lee's Wii head tracking video that he put out on YouTube. So we decided to incorporate the technology into our cell interactive ray tracer. What you're seeing here is a single Linux PS3 rendering a scene without head tracking. You notice how it's very view independent. Now with head tracking enabled, you notice how depending on where the viewer is relative to the screen, you get a different view. This is being accomplished with an infrared camera that you see mounted on the shelf above the screen and two infrared LEDs that are mounted on the user. Um, we mount those LEDs on the user using a pair of safety glasses like the ones on the shelves and we put the infrared LEDs on the corners of the safety glasses. The second scene is a scene donated to us by our partner company Threshold Studios. It was created in Maya and exported into our renderer. Um, it's approximately 7 million triangles and you can see here how it's very view independent without head tracking. Now with head tracking enabled it looks like a virtual window. You notice how moving left to right and up and down and back and forth all produce different viewpoints on the screen. Once again this is being accomplished with the infrared camera you see sitting on the shelf below the screen. These images are being uh, rendered with uh, 14 QS21 cell blades. They're clustered together and they're all focused on this one problem. It's approximately six teraflops of floating point power all focused on rendering these frames in real time. 